This is Hebba from My Little Journal, and today I'm going to be working in my Pen Pal art journal that I share with Bree from Documented Journey. If you have not checked out Bree's channel, I'm going to link all the links down below, so please click on her links. She is talented and amazing, and we share this little journal with each other. Now, last time I worked in this journal, this is what I created, so Bree had not worked yet on the cover. And she did this, which I love, and I asked for this personally. I wanted some cactuses in some of her landscapes, so she made that for me because this one's my journal. And then she created this one, which is beautiful. I really, really love this. It is gorgeous, by the way. Um, and then today I will be working in my little page, but she also sent me some really cute stuff she actually made me my own personal little mini journal. If you guys don't know, um, Brie actually sells these and they're beautiful by the way. And I really, really love the paper that she uses. It's like mixed media paper. And this is just the perfect little size to create your own little art journal. Especially if you are new to mixed media and you don't want to start in a big, large art journal, this is the perfect size. So this one's gonna be mine. For me to keep. I'm gonna put that aside. She actually sent my daughter a little notebook which was adorable and so sweet of her and she loves it. I had to share that and because she's awesome like that she sent me a stencil which I am in love with. Look how pretty that is. I can't wait to use that and of course she sent me some die cuts and they're floral you guys. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to use them. I'm so excited for these. So I have to thank Brie. She's amazing. She always sends me the cutest stuff and I love it all and I can't wear, wait to use them. But um, for today's video, we will start in my little page and I'm taking the chance just using this little mat and you can tell I never clean it, but uh, hopefully I don't get anything on my desk and we're going to start together. Okay, you guys, let's start. So I'm just gonna add some gesso to my pages. I like to do that. I feel like the paint looks better when you add gesso. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to start with my paint. Now, I was in a purple mood. I haven't used purple in a very long time. So I grabbed a few and thought, I'm just gonna add it to my page. I will be using my finger because I am lazy like that just go with it I'm not going for perfection I never do when I'm working my art journal I'm just gonna start blending them in with my finger So I believe I'm done with the purple. I'm gonna grab this peach color just to brighten it up a little bit. And I have this beautiful stencil that my wonderful friend sent to me. And it's in Arabic writing. So as you guys know, I am originally from the Middle East and it's really hard to find any stencils that have that Arabic writing in it. So of course I had to use it on my page. And um, I really like how that peach kind of blended really nicely with my background. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna grab an, my little stamp. Now this stamp, I've had it for years. It's a Tim Holtz. I don't even think it exists anymore, but I'm just stamping it with some archival ink. I'm also gonna be using this new stencil that I got and it's just uh, plus signs. And I thought it would look pretty neat as a background or a pattern for my pages. So I'm going to tidy up a bit because I want to give myself some space. I want to use this floral stencil and um, use that green paint, but 
Once I started, I really didn't like it. It wasn't really what I was going for, so I decided to use some gray paint. And with that same little foam uh, dabber thing, makeup foam dabber, um, the same one that I used for my black paint, I just went ahead and added the gray and it looked pretty neat. It gave it like a shading or a different color for the flower and I like how that turned out much better than the green. So now I'm gonna grab my little uh, Sharpie white paint marker and just add some dimension to my flowers. I like to do that because um, it just gives it uh, a different look, totally different look, and then you can really tell that they're flowers. Once I'm done with my gel pen, and uh, I'm just using it to give some more color and dimension to my flowers, I'm gonna grab my gelatos and add some shading to the flowers. Uh, I sped this up a little bit more because um, I get a lot of people that want to see me shading in or using my gelatos, but I know it kind of gets boring <laughs> after a while, so I just sped it up a little bit. So of course my page is never complete if I don't add my Tim Holtz phrase stickers. I'm going to find one that I like and I will cut it in half and add it right on top of my flowers. Then I'm going to go through my large stickers and try to find something to add. Um, I love these stickers but I've said it before, they tear very easily so you really have to be careful if you have these or you want to buy these. But I'm just going to add my little title to my page. And then I'm going to, um, well, I thought I was going to add a white outline to that um, Hello Today and decided against it. But when I was done and was not taping this, I decided, no, I like it with the white out outline. So I actually do that and you can see the pictures once I'm done. It looks so much better with the white outline. I'm just adding a border to my pages and I will be adding the date and I believe I call my layout done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye! Click on the screen if you want to watch some more of my pen pal art journal videos.